When Joseph Plum Martin was 14, he heard church bells ringing to announce the onset of war. He knew straight away he wanted to join up and fight for the cause of liberty. When he did, at the age of 15, he found out that war wasn't about glory, it was about survival. Much of what we know about the daily lives of common soldiers in the Revolutionary War comes from Martin's memoir. It was called A Narrative of Some of the Adventures, Dangers, and Sufferings of a Revolutionary Soldier. Published in 1830, it was promptly forgotten until someone rediscovered it over 120 years later. This time, it was published with a snappier title, Private Yankee Doodle. The book gives vivid accounts of the battles that Martin was involved in, including the Siege of Yorktown. But for most of the time, his main enemies weren't redcoats. They were hunger, exhaustion, and the elements. The Continental Army were often out of basic supplies, and soldiers simply had to fend for themselves. In summer, that meant taking food from local farms, whether or not the farmers wanted to help. In winter, it could mean eating nothing for days on end in freezing conditions. When the army's oxen and horses starved to death, they at least provided a square meal for the starving soldiers. The major victories that Martin remembers are the tricks of survival. He recounts stealing dried bread, hogs which the soldiers would roast, pumpkins, apples, and even a beehive. Knowing which wild plants you could eat was a life-saving skill. And when the army did supply the men with rations, they were often of very poor quality, flour mixed with ground-up bones. Over the winter of 1779, the troops came very close to mutiny. Stuck in waist-deep snow with no proper shelter, the men cooked and ate their own shoes, while the officers ate their pet dog. Martin felt little love for the officers, describing them as uncaring. By the time the war ended, Martin was a 22-year-old Continental Army sergeant. The conflict cast a long shadow over the rest of his life, and he struggled for years for the right to claim a veteran's pension. But his memoir gives us a unique insight into the challenges that the common soldiers faced and the ingenuity they needed to stay alive. 